And why wouldn't you believe me after what we've oh, been through together? Come on, Coop. That was war, okay? It changes you. It strips you of everything. Out there on the battlefield, it is simply a matter of survival. Oh, and you think it's so different here? There's no insurgency, no tanks, no IEDs, maybe. But we're still talking about life or death here. Now, we've watched each other's backs. We weren't fighting against an enemy. We were fighting to protect each other and praying that the guys in front felt the same way. And we made no promises about what would happen after it was over. Look, I just want to get Maxie out of here. Does she know about the test? No. But she knows other things about me. Just like I know other things about you. If you're innocent, then who do you think the killer is? How would you feel about loving if I was right? What? You were ready to go off with him. Someplace safe and cozy. If you hadn't heard him talking to his father, if you hadn't thought he was going to rat us out, you'd still be with him right now, wouldn't you? So? So, I don't want to be a runner-up. Or a choice you make out of anger, or a choice you make when things are boring and you need to spice things. <laughs> that is not what okay. this is Fine, about. but I also need to know some things about myself. I don't understand. I need to know that I'm not my father's son. That I can love somebody, but not to the point of insanity. Not the kind of obsessive love that would drive a man to shoot his own son because he was jealous of a mother's affection. I need to know I can run an empire without scaring you off or putting you into the ground. And so far, the ladies in my life have not fared so well. Are you talking about your mother? I remember her hands the most. The way they trembled. And her voice, how she barely spoke above a whisper. Those little red sneakers. <laughs> so in contrast to the mousy brown rest of her. Who are you talking about? Johnny. Johnny. The police should be here by now. Go. If I'm wrong about Logan trying to rat me out to the cops, then I won't be here when you come back. But if I'm right... You got no reason to be mad at him. And I'll still be here waiting. You're back, early. How you doing? I found Richard exactly where I thought he'd be. What about the Elkazar Piers? We talked about it, but I didn't get anywhere. Yet. I will. I am a very patient man. Hey, I love this. There's an APB out on Johnny. <laughs> Why now? Something in connection with the murder of the police commissioner's daughter. Well, I assume that he's still with the Spencer girl. What if they pick him up? Then they pick him up. The more trouble that our little kid gets into, the sooner she'll get on a plane to get out of here. You sure about that? Oh, yeah, trust me. She was devoted to him. And that was the problem. Not by words. It'll be the solution as soon as we can find her. I don't know, Carly. It was Sonny's idea. Maybe he wanted to get back to his roots. Sonny wouldn't go back to his roots unless he was dragged there. He took me to a few places he used to know. Hmm, like where? The high school he dropped out of? Or the house where his stepfather beat him and his mother? We went to dinner in a movie. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Why? What is the difference, Carly? What does it matter? Okay, why don't you tell me what does matter? I want to know what happened on that street corner when you and Sonny suddenly split after you spent a night on the town in good old rockin' Bensonhurst. You know, Jason, this was a mistake, me coming here. I'm sorry. No, you hold it. Sonny is missing. I want to know what happened the last time you saw him. He proposed to me, Carly. <laughs> 